presentation of CBC Sports. Lineups here, one dollar. The first issue of Toronto versus Montreal went on sale November the 18th. The program was hard hitting indeed, featuring a series of glossy photos of glassy eyes. It was a celebration of skill and in the end, suspense. A welcome match turning the visitors back. The Habs win 4-3 in OT. Three weeks later in TO, the Great Canadian Clash was on the cover again. Within its pages, a debut turn debacle. Ed Olchek led the Leafs with a slick hat trick, chasing rookie goaltender Andre Rasico, forcing Pat Burns to use the ailing Patrick Roy. Perhaps it was good medicine when Wendell Clark put the Canadians to bed. The Leafs won 7-4. Tonight's program will sell well. It's Montreal at Toronto, the rubber match. Molson Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. to you by Molson Exports. Nothing halfway about it. X says it all. By Ford of Canada, where quality is more than a commitment. Quality is job one. And by Esso, going that extra mile. Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. The gardens of buzz with a crowd here, a capacity crowd waiting for the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Maple Leafs. For their fans, the Leafs proving a tough act to follow. Five straight wins, all by KO. The emphasis on tough. Here's Wendell Clark. Good evening, I'm Ron McLean, and welcome to Molson Hockey Net in Canada. This is a really sad sight for Leaf fans to see you here. Uh, what's the matter? Well, I ended up getting a knee injury uh, late in the or middle of the third period in New Jersey, and we find out how bad it is uh, tomorrow night when, uh, or tomorrow morning. What happened? Well, I was getting a pass from uh, my own end from, I think, Marwa, and I was cutting up the middle, and uh, the defenseman come across and uh, got me with kind of a hip check low, lower on the knees. Vyacheslav Fetisov of the Devils, with whom you've had uh, run-ins before. I know Don Cherry is going to want to talk about that. Uh, explain the process of finding out what's wrong, Wendell, and do you have any idea how long uh, you'll be laid up? No, it's uh, tomorrow they uh, put me out. I guess I'll be unconscious so they can check the knee in all areas, and... From there, they'll find out whether uh, it'll have to be casted or just put in a brace for a while. And so we're hoping for uh, the least, and they just have to brace it. And uh, the worst is they'll have to they'll cut it open, but I don't think they'll have to do that. And this isn't the knee that was giving you trouble earlier, so it's really been a tough year, Wendell. Uh, all the best. Thank you. Wendell Clark of the Maple Leafs, uh, his teammates are taking to the ice right now, and you can hear the fans applauding Toronto. Last night, the Leafs were in New Jersey at the Meadowlands. Ally Afraidy to Mark Osborne to Gary Lehman, who scores his first shorthanded goal of the year, his 31st on the season altogether. Toronto's 10th shorthanded goal. They win 5-1 to make it a stretch of 5-1. Montreal was at the Cap Center in Landover to play the Capitals, who have been struggling. Under new coach Terry Murray, they rebound. Two goals by Jeff Cortnell. Here's the second on Brian Hayward. The Caps double Montreal by a score of 6-3. For their comments on tonight's matchup at the Gardens, let's go to Dick Irvin and Scotty Bowman. Well, thank you, Rod. The Canadians always have a lot of support in this building, it seems, but they might be an underdog, and when's the last time that was the case? Scotty, they'll be facing Jeff Reese. They've never faced him before. He's played in only six games, but he's had a very good start this season. Well, he's been a big part of their recent five-game winning streak, and he had two games on the road. He had 100 shots, but what he's doing well, Dick, he's staying on his feet, and he's making a lot of that first save, and the defense for the Leafs maybe has the chemistry with the defenseman. I like his style, and he's playing very confidently. A big game last night in New Jersey, only giving up one goal, so he may be the goalie of the future for Toronto. Scotty, the Canadians haven't frightened too many opposing goaltenders lately. Stefan Riche has pretty well been all by himself. No regular sentiment. He and Shane Corston, of course, have played most of the time together, but he's getting added duties. He's now playing when they have a goal lead late in the game, and he's developed into the Canadians' best shooter and as well as their best player but he's drawing a lot of attention and unless somebody else picks up the slack dick it's going to be pretty tough for him all right scotty always a great matchup when these teams get together we go back now to ron mcclain who's standing by with one of his close personal friends dick i hate to call you a liar listen 
I want to tell you, when the Montreal Canadiens used to come in here, he was, oh boy, Leafs are in for trouble. I'll tell you one thing, Canadians better be ready. They scored the most goals, they've had the most against, they got the most penalties, and I'll tell you, they're exciting to watch. Everybody likes to see them. Peter McNabb, the New Jersey announcer, eh, last night, said when they play the Leafs now, every team is a little leery. The and only knock Brady. appears to be goals against. Uh, let it ride. Go as long as you can. Look what happened to L.A. They said to L.A., we want to play defense. Look what happened to them. Let it go as long as you can. Everybody loves them right now. Tough and can score goals. We love it. Love the hat. So do you, I can tell. Okay, stand by. It's the great Canadian rivalry. The tradition continues when the Montreal Canadiens visit the Toronto Maple Leafs on Molson Hockey Net in Canada on CBC.